Hi, and welcome to this Google Sheets tutorial for beginners. I'm Steve, and in this video, you're going to learn how to use Google Sheets, learn how to access Google Sheets, get a little tour of the Google Sheets interface, some of the tools. I'm going to show you how to create your first spreadsheet in Google Sheets, and then I'll show you some of the awesome features like autosave and sharing and things like that. So in order to get to Google Sheets, the first thing you need to do is create a Google account. And if you already have a Gmail address, which many of us do, then you already have a Google account and you can just sign into that. If not, you need to go to Google and you need to create an account. And then you just go to Sheets by, the easiest way is just, just type in Google Sheets. That'll take you right here and you click on Google Sheets. And this is a little start page and this may change by the time you watch this video. If it does, it'll probably be similar enough. What you want to do is just go to the personal version, go to Google Sheets, and then this is going to take you to the start page. And this shows some of my past sheets, and these are all templates that you can use to get started right into something, like if you wanted to create a monthly budget, you could just click on that and create a budget. But what we're going to do is create a spreadsheet in Google Sheets from scratch. So you want to go to this big plus sign and click it. That's going to bring you right into your first spreadsheet. And you can even see it's called Untitled Spreadsheet. So we can go in here and click here and we'll rename it. And we'll just call it First Spreadsheet. And hit enter. You can see it's saving. And that has saved this to Google Drive. Now, if you have a Google account, that means you also have a Google Drive account, and you can go and you can find this in Google Drive, and it'll be saved and ready for use whenever you want. Now, the awesome thing about Google Sheets, and if you've ever used Excel, you'll know this. In Excel, you have to actually go and physically save your documents and name them. Google Sheets just automatically saves your documents to the cloud. So as you work, it's going to continue to save it and update it. So this titled first spreadsheet sheet will always be updated as you work on it, which is really cool. So let's talk about what we're looking at here. Up here, obviously, is the name. Here is our menu bar, and this is all of your tools. And if you click on these drop downs, you'll see various tools, and some of these may be familiar to you, like undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, etc. And you can go through all those and use them to work on your spreadsheets. And then there are some more tools here, and these are formatting tools. And we'll talk about a few of those in a minute. And this is your actual spreadsheet. And a spreadsheet is basically just a bunch of cells that contain data that are divided up into columns. And the columns are labeled A, B, C, D, so forth. And then rows. So this is row one, row two, row three. And so if I click into this cell right here, and I'm just using my mouse and left clicking, then this cell is named B2 because it's in column B and on row two. So let's make a little sample database real quick. All we're gonna do is click into here and we're gonna put employee ID and then we're gonna hit tab to go to the next one. We're gonna go employee name and then we're gonna go department. Hit enter. And now we have headers for our spreadsheet. We can even format these to make them look a little bit better. We can go ahead and click there. And you have a fill color so you can fill the background. And we'll just do this a light green. And then you have the text color so you can change the text. So we could go with a dark green or leave it black. Black is fine. But we'll go with a dark green just to make it a little more interesting. And when you click off, you can see what we've got. And then we can go ahead and put in some employee IDs. Let's just go one, two, and I just hit enter, three, enter, like that. And then you do your names, type them in and hit enter, like that. And you can arrow to move to navigate through cells. So if I hit right arrow, I go there. Up arrow, I go up there. And we'll just type in some departments. There we go. 
So that's your first spreadsheet. Some of the ideas, things that you can do would be like a spreadsheet containing all of the lists of your employees, names, addresses, phone numbers, things like that. You can do a list of sales. So you could say you can have your employee name, what they sold, how much the sale was for, and so on and so forth. Now let's just say that we actually called this accounts receivable. We hit enter. Now you'll notice that that's now moving out into another cell. And you can see that it just kind of overlaps the barrier between them. Now if you want to resize this column to fit all of this in there, all you do is go up here and you hover over the line between the two. You get those double arrows and you can either double click it and it will snap to fit however big that is. Or you can just click it and drag it and release and that will set it up wherever you want. And so, for example, that, that one expanded when I double clicked it. This one, if I double click it, it will contract into fit the biggest thing in that whole column, which is the header. And I'll move that back out so it just has a little more space. And then maybe we'll bring this one in too. But you can adjust those sizes. You can add columns and rows. Now, if I wanted to say, put the employee's last name, I click here and I right click and you'll see it has some insert options. So I can insert one to the left of this column or I can insert one to the right of this column. So we'll go to the left because we want it to be right over here. And that creates a new column for us. And you'll notice it also formats it similar to the surrounding columns. So we would say employee last name like that. But we'll just get rid of that for the moment. And the way you get rid of that is you click it, right click on it, and just say delete column. And then we're back to normal. And one of the things that Google Sheets is really good at doing is sorting information. So obviously this is a list of only three names. But if this was a thousand names long and I wanted to organize the information, having to do it manually by selecting a row, copying the row, moving it down, etc., would be really miserable. So let me show you an easier way. But first, I've selected that as a, to copy, and to get out of that, I just hit Escape, and you see that goes back to normal. Now what we can do is we can filter and sort by column. So I'm gonna click on the top of the column here, and I'm gonna go over to this little drop-down, and if I click on that, you'll see an option down here, sort sheet A to Z, alphabetically, or, sort sheet Z to A. So that would be descending or ascending. And if I click on sort sheet A to Z, it's gonna alphabetize it for me. So I'll go ahead and click that. And you see that it now rearranged the entire sheet alphabetically by employee name. So F, G, S, and then you can see our employee IDs moved as well. Now let's say that we wanted to resort this by the employee ID number. So we wanted it to go one, two, three again. If we go to the sort here and we try to sort it, we're going to have a problem. And I'll show you what I mean. So you click sort sheet A to Z, which also works from lowest number to highest number. So we click that and you'll see that it sorted it one, two, three, but then it also sorted the headers because it put the text after the numbers. And that's not what we want. So we're going to undo that and I'll show you a trick. We hit control Z on a PC. If you're on a Mac, you can hit Command Z. You can also go to the Edit menu and click Undo right there. Okay. But let's show you a trick so that you don't move your headers on accident. If you go up here and you hover, see I get that little hand? I'm hovering over this line right above my headers. And when I get that hand, I click and it's going to grab onto this little gray line. If I drag that gray line down just below the headers and release, I've now locked the top row so it won't move when I do sorting. And it also does a nice thing where if I scroll down, you'll notice that it stays in place. So if I'm scrolling all the way down to row 1000, all the way down here, my headers are still going to be visible. And that's really nice. Okay, so I'll scroll back up. And now I can sort these numerically without messing up the headers. And I just click on this. 
and I say sort A to Z. And now it sorts it nicely, but leaves my headers up above. And I'll show you what happens if you don't have it locked like that. I'm going to move that back up. So now just the letters are locked. Now as I scroll down, you see they disappear. So if I'm down on row 1000, then I won't be able to see what's going on. So that's locked. We'll do that lock back then. Let's talk real quick about how to use formulas, and then I'll go into how you can share your documents with other people, which is one of the most valuable things that Google Sheets provides, is sharing capabilities. So let's say we have another column over here called Sales, and we'll just put in some numbers here. They don't really matter. We're just going to put them in so we can do some calculations. Okay, but first, let's make them look nice. Let's go ahead and select this whole column. You could also select these individual cells, but we're going to format these to look like dollars. And if you look right up here, you can see the option here. You can also go to Format, and it'll give you a bunch of options. You can highlight under this here, and it'll bring down a whole menu, and you can go and format it however you like. Typically, you would do accounting or currency. We'll just go with currency. And now it's formatted as currency, which looks nice. And let's go do a total of our sales. And to do that, we're going to use a formula. We're just going to hit equals because you always start a formula by typing equals. And then you can either pick one of these suggested formulas or you can also just type in the formula that you're going to use. And in this case, we're going to use a sum formula. And you can see as I start to type, like when I just type the S, it gives me a bunch of options down here. And as I continue to type, it gives me more options. And I want the sum formula. So again, I can either click here or I can complete it with the keyboard. And then I can hit tab and that's going to say that I want to use that formula. And then Google Sheets is filling out the rest of it for me because it pretty much knows that I'm going to want to add all of the numbers above the cell that we're talking about. So it has gone and said we want the sum of cells D2 and the colon means through D4. So D2 here, D3, and D4. So D2 through D4 and it even gives me a little preview of the total so I have an idea of whether it's working. And then I just hit enter and we now have the sum of all of those. And if I wanted to make that stand out, I could just make it bold or I could make it a color. Maybe we want that to be red. And now we have our total. Okay, so that's the basics of creating a really simple spreadsheet, doing a little bit of sorting, doing some formatting and doing some formulas in your spreadsheet. The last thing I want to talk about is how to share your spreadsheet. And the beauty of Google Sheets is that you can be working in this spreadsheet and your boss can be looking at this spreadsheet or even working at it at the same time. And someone else could be checking in to see the progress or what the totals are from another place in the world. And all you have to do is share this with them and that's how they do it. So to share, you just go way up to the right here where it says share. And right now you can see when I hover over it, it's private. So it's only mine. I'm the only one who can see it. But when I click this button, it's going to bring up a dialog box here and gives me some options. So if you have people in your contacts for Gmail, you can just start to type here and it will often bring up suggestions for people that you want to share it with. But if you don't have any contacts or you want to share it with someone who's not in your contacts, then you can get a link. And you just go to this section here and you can see right now it says restricted. Only people added can open with this link. So that means only people that I add in here can get to this. So what I want to do is change that and I'm going to change, click this button and it's going to change it. So now it gives me a link and anyone with the link has some capabilities in this document. And there are some options with that as well. Right now, anyone with the link can view this. So they can't edit it, they can't comment on it, they can just go in and view this spreadsheet, which can be very helpful and is a nice thing to do if you don't want other people messing with it, but you want them to be able to see what's happening. 
But if you want to have other people collaborating and working on it with you, then you can change this here. And you could change it to commentator. That means they can make comments. In other words, give you feedback or direction. So maybe your boss can comment on it. Or finally, you can have them be an editor. And if they are an editor, that means they can actually get in here and work on your spreadsheet. They can change your numbers. They can put new formulas in. They can change your formatting. And they have basically the same capabilities that you do. But if you want to share that with them and you didn't share it up here, then you just click copy link. You can see it says link copied. And now when I can send an email to whoever I want and I can just paste this link in there and then they'll be able to directly access this. Okay, I can click done. And now I have the capability of sharing this document with whoever I need to edit it. Okay, so that's a basic Google Sheets tutorial for beginners. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like the video, please subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you in another video.